After the untimely death of a 17-year-old on the campus of North Dakota State University last month, some students say they don't like how the university has handled the situation, basically offering their condolences, but not ways to stop this from happening again. We talked to two members of Theta Chi, a fraternity at NDSU, and they both tell us no matter what the university is or isn't doing, their organization will do their part by putting on events, like a night to remember, where the topics of alcohol and drug abuse, so along with sexual assault, can be addressed and hopefully stopped. The point of uh, hosting Night to Remember was to, um, uh, to promote uh, like, uh, awareness against sexual assault and alcohol abuse because parties are actually like the main place where it takes place. Theta Chi members Aditya Sinha and Derek Hudson-Buehler say their fraternity takes on those tough issues college kids face. We do take uh, these things really seriously and we take stands uh, against alcohol abuse, sexual assault, uh, uh, hazing, uh, very like um, seriously. In an opinion piece from the NDSU student newspaper, The Spectrum, the writer accused the university of being silent about the death of 17-year-old Devin Delaney. We reached out to The Spectrum for this story, but their editor-in-chief declines an interview. However, these Theta Chi's were willing to share their thoughts, which they say are pretty similar to a lot of people on campus. I think the campus should do more in terms of safe ways to go about different things like that, because I think it still is kind of like a, just don't do it at all, or don't tell anyone about it, like keep it behind closed doors. And I think that's kind of dangerous. And like, if you can't, if you can't talk to anyone about it, then how are you supposed to fix issues? Whether it's alcohol and drug abuse or sexual assault, Hudson Mueller says the university should speak up, but they should also encourage campus groups to address these issues as well. I think it's more beneficial if, you know, like a fraternity and women and gender studies partner and bring in a speaker, or if in another organization brings in a speaker, because I think when the campus does it, everyone just kind of brushes it off because they think it's something required or it's just something that the campus is doing because they have to. We talked to several students at NDSU who tell us they've received a flyer telling them if they need to talk to someone that help is available on campus.